A record label's job for an artist is to help them manufacture, distribute, and promote their music. But what happens when a label does the exact opposite? Well, one thing most South Africans are going to remember about the year 2020, besides COVID-19, is the chorus of Big Zulu's song, Imali Enin. <laughs> which was sung by KZN's very own in Dubai Dubai. His contribution to the song helped rake more than 1 million views on YouTube in just one week after its release. Yeah, Dubai Dubai was the next big thing. But on December 2022, Ndabasi Dubai took to social media and accused the controversial record label Ambitious Entertainment of destroying his music career. I wonder how royalties are paid to some and not others. Since day one, I have never received even 50 cents. At least give us the royalties fee. You really destroyed me. When Ndabasi Dubai signed to Ambitious Entertainment, it seems like they did not disappoint him in ruining his music career. He was getting paid 3,700 monthly for his contribution to the top chart in Mali inning single. And after a a battle with the controversial record label, Indabasa Dubai decided to quit music, saying, I quit music. If I die, it will be my choice. What I don't understand, though, why tricky. would you sign to Ambitious Dog with what happened to MT, A. Reese? Like his stories in Zip Yeah, I want to who got their fingers burnt, I guess. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Unfortunately, Ndabas Dubai is just one of the many victims of Ambitious Entertainment, a record label that has ruined the careers of countless other artists, from creating beef between artists in order to sell more records, to leaving one of their best-selling artists homeless. Ambitious Entertainment really does a lot. So today we take a look at how one record label ruined so many artists' lives and careers. But before we continue, can you please do a favor for me? Can you please like, subscribe, and leave a comment? Because I'm really trying to get to 1 million subscribers before the end of the year. So please help me out, man. In 2010, MT collaborated with South African rapper Maraza on a song titled In It to Win It. They also got a chance to appear on Channel O's show, Head Rush, which had to be big for MT at the time. But before his solo career, MT was part of a rap trio, African Trap Movement, or ATM for short. He had fellow South African rappers Java, Saudi, and their producer Raf alongside with him. But unfortunately, they all made their very bad decision of signing to Ambitious Entertainment. MT was clearly headed for success way before he signed to Ambitious Entertainment. I'd like to put a doubt there first. He even released his hit song Roll Up, a song that now has over 5 million views on YouTube, with a remix that has 15 million views at the time of this recording. But here's the messed up part. MT is not making any money out of both of those songs, even the other ones that are posted on the Ambitious Entertainment YouTube channel, or any music he recorded while under the label. Well, simply because he signed away his royalties, and I know what you're thinking, Ambitious Entertainment has every right to keep profiting off MT's music. They are simply just taking what today is right. But here's the thing, MT trusted Ambitious to do right by him. He was one of their best selling artists at the time. Maybe he thought that the label wouldn't bite the hand that fed them. Oh man, only if MT knew. In the year 2019, MT took to social media and shared the hashtag FreeMT. Turns out Ambitious was biting the hand that was feeding them, they just didn't give a fuck. MT revealed that he was getting paid under 20,000 rands, and no matter how many gigs he did, he would still get paid at the end of the month a standard salary that was lower than a teacher's income. I remember I did six shows in one night. That night, after that night, my body was full, like I was tired, and I don't get tired, you know, I'm a hustler. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, no, man, here I'm working, I'm working too much, man. Mm -hmm. you know, but I'm still, I still have to wait for a month and, you know. And when MT finally decided to leave Ambitious Entertainment, not only did they take away his music royalty, but they ended up taking away his home and cars. So Ambitious Entertainment was really robbing MT, like, to think about it, the man had like a top charting song, Roll Up, and he was getting paid under 20,000 rands, even no matter how many gigs he did. Come on man, Ambitious Entertainment, you did MT dirty. MT ended up being homeless and if you want more details on that, check out this video, like I'm gonna put it in the screen somewhere. And yeah, that's how Ambitious Entertainment ruined MT's life. They literally took away his music and then left him homeless. How much was your salary? 
50k, 60. Yeah, I mean, that's empty, decent starting. Nah, that wasn't the start. Shit, and you was More thinking at like this time? Less, way less. Ah. Way the damn, so under 20. Yeah. Um, fucking hell, bro. You feel me? But in Fifi Cooper's case, not only did Ambitious Entertainment leave her broke, but they also destroyed her music career, forcing her to start from the beginning all over again, and this time with a broken reputation. Fifi Cooper began singing at the age of 8 while in primary school, and she professionally started her music career in the early 2010s when she released a breakout single, Chechela Morajo, a rap song that received massive airplay and did well to gain her new grounds in the South African music industry. And this clearly shows that Fifi Cooper was just another artist that was up next, way before signing to a label because she was already popular amongst music lovers but like most artists we are going to talk about in this video in the year 2015 50 Cooper unfortunately signed a recording contract with ambitious entertainment and on november the same year she released her debut studio album which won three awards at the 15th metro fm awards she was even nominated in the best newcomer of the year award and best female artist of the year categories at the second edition of the south african music awards but but whilst Fifi Cooper was working hard on making hit songs and winning awards, turns out she wasn't making any money. Well, at least not enough money. Fifi Cooper stated that there was a time she was involved in a car accident and her boss at Ambitious refused to give her any advance. Fifi Cooper was probably making the same money that MT was making, earning minimum wage while being a huge artist with awards. But here's the thing, Ambitious just doesn't give a fuck. See, if they're gonna rob you, they're gonna rob you well. In Fifi Cooper's case, not only did they take away her royalties too, but they ended up destroying her reputation in the rap game. They made it seem like Fifi Cooper was a hard person to work with and it would be a risk to associate your business with her. So Fifi Cooper really won all those hours for nothing and released all those machines for nothing as Ambitious Entertainment ended up destroying her career and reputation. Nobody's really checking out for Fifi Cooper today and it's all of Ambitious Entertainment's fault. They really destroyed her dreams. However, Ambitious Entertainment wasn't only destroying musicians' dreams, but they were also destroying the dreams of many rap fans, especially when they ruined the chances of an Aries featuring Mr. C song. In the year 2015, Aries signed to Ambitious Entertainment and released his first single there, Codings. The song featured MT, who many credit is the guy who really put Aries onto the mainstream. With MT's catchy hook and smooth autotune voice, the song quickly became an instant hit among rap fans and helped launch Aries onto the mainstream. But here's a problem. The song had one line on it and it's a line that was aimed at an upcoming rapper at the time that's to see I, I don't think anyone knows this but when we made when we created could it the song couldn't that has mt on it yeah you know when it starts it goes it's about to get nasty it's about to get nasty <laughs> I was, you know i was i was put in that position where it was like yo man in order to get there you gotta do the most Nessie C was the same age as Aries was, and he made music that sounded well, at least similar to what Aries was making at the time. So in order to sell more records, I guess Ambitious just decided to create beef between the two artists. Turns out Aries was earning less than 20,000 rands at Ambitious. So maybe he thought that maybe by dissing Nestor C, he would earn a raise in next month's paycheck. But on the other hand, Nestor C had his own thing going on for him. So instead of entertaining unnecessary beefs, he put all of his energy towards releasing his debut studio album, Bad Hair, an album that became an instant success. Success. And despite Aries also having his very own successful debut studio album, he would soon find himself in a very public and ugly fight with ambitious entertainment due to financial disagreement. I'm guessing the checks stayed the same. Aries was probably tired of winning awards, performing somewhere between 20 gigs per week, and still getting paid less than a school teacher. Like, how was he gonna flex on his teachers who said he'll never make it in this rap game? However, soon Aries found himself out of the label that made him this NSTC in the first place. But him and NSTC still went on good terms. Turns out Nasty C throughout the years ended up sneak dissing Aries on more than one occasion. The rappers were now at a spot where going back wasn't an option anymore. So much back and forth had happened between the two of them. And now the only way forward was what's with the dead. Well, in this case, what did the last bow something? Then out of nowhere, Nasty C extended his hand to Aries. I read something that you guys were supposed to go on tour together or something like that. Yeah, I was trying to put him on my tour as a, as a part of just like putting this shit behind us and, and really making some moves, you know? He was probably trying to fix things between the two of them, and fans remained excited over a tweet Nasty C made that read, Somebody tell Aries to check his DMs. I'm trying to get him on the Iverson tour. But unfortunately, Aries never showed up to perform on that tour, and that led to the beef continuing. Ultimately, you guys worked it out. Tried 
didn't didn't happen but i made a whole video about the story of nasty c versus a reese so if you want a detailed version you can check out this video i'm gonna put somewhere in the screen here so in this case ambitious didn't just steal a reese's money or royalties but they also stole a chance of us ever seeing a reese and nasty c on the same song